Twitter for one three here and just wanted to say I'm sorry for uh, not making videos for a while. But uh, I wanted to show you all what I've been working on. Uh, the diorama of a crashing P61. Uh, I'm not quite finished with it, but, you know, just wanted to uh, show you all uh, what I did for how to bend it up and all that stuff is I used a lighter to bend the nose to bend the props and uh, bend all this up. I used a round cake plate that my mom had laying around uh, and I used clay for the mud and then added uh, antiquing paint to it because it makes it look better. Uh, everything on here I did myself so you know. Um, basically I think I got a defective uh, P61 because some of the pieces were way too large or um, partially like messed up so you know I just decided to mess it up even more <laughs> and uh, I, it looks pretty good this way um, I used exact enough to put all the holes in it and uh, I used paper right here to uh, to make it look like the ring the wing ripped off and uh, make it shredded and stuff like that and I used thick thread for the um, for the wires right there and they're all different colors too and uh, I used paper again for right here for uh, part of the air airframe. And uh, sorry if the lighting's not that good, but uh, yeah. On the underside, it's just all it's like the top. It's all dry brushed. I went a little crazy with dry brushing, but you know I think it makes it look good. Um, yeah, I added all the decal. Well, actually, I didn't add the decals on the main body. Not all of them. Uh, I did add the decals all on this. This is the only part that's like completely 100% done. Um, but yeah, uh, that's that's paint, not a decal, because it was too hard to put the decal on the um, paper. So yeah. Anyways, that's that. Um, basically, yesterday I went to the uh, hobby store and. Um, I got, as you can already see, because it was on the floor, I got another Spitfire, Mark II, 148 Ravel, you know, because uh, I really like my original Spitfire that I had, that my uncle gave me, um, and I got a Gotha 229, which is actually Horton Gotha 229, G-O stands for Gotha, and I just get the Horton and just say Gotha 229. <clears throat> yeah, it's 170 second scale. It's a different scale than I normally do, but you know. I like this plane so much that it was it was just worth getting. So, you know, I can't wait to uh, build this one and the Spitfire again because you know, I really like this plane and the Spitfire was uh, one of my favorite planes and uh, was one of my most favorite builds so far. So look forward to that. So thank y'all for watching. Bye.